Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Hope you guys have been well. Uh, in this video, I just want to talk about an incident that occurred um, to my Tesla not too long ago. It actually happened on the 28th of February. In this particular day, I was parked in the parking garage. A driver just literally rammed into my car. He was at the very end of the parking garage right across from me he had a ton of room he didn't stop and he just kept going kept going he must have been going at least 30 yeah 20 definitely wasn't 25 it was like 30 miles per hour mini suv just rammed into my car and he only stopped once he hit my car and i'm going to be showing you the footage that i got on my camera and you can see exactly what happened. very unfortunate that this happened but the good thing is insurance is gonna cover it the whole story that unfolded was that you know I contacted my insurance company the person that I was talking to in, from my insurance told me that I should go through the other guy's insurance the guy that hit me because he was at fault and I wasn't so I did I filed a claim a long story short um, a few weeks pass passes and they call me back and they say that the gentleman that hit me uh, Was failing to reply to emails or even pick up his calls the insurance company tried to contact him regarding the incident and He was basically ghosting them. It means that he didn't want to take responsibility and He didn't want to pay for the damage so Things were getting a little bit more complicated at this point when I got that call and um, the person on the other line that I was speaking to from his insurance company told me that they're gonna have to reject the claim because there was no police file reported. After hearing that I was definitely surprised, I was shocked, I was also very upset. Good news was that the person on the other line told me that you know, they're gonna need video proof with his license plate showing in the video for them to go through with the claim. Fortunately for me, I did have the video on. I had sentry mode on. So I was able to provide the evidence that he did in fact hit me. And after that, after I posted it on their website, the whole video and everything, she was like, she called me back the next day and was like, okay, you have the proof, you have the video evidence. We're gonna go through with this claim. I'll tell you another story. I actually did already take my car into a Tesla certified shop to get an estimate. The guy that I was talking to at the shop, he's a Tesla owner, and he told me that he got into an accident. He had the car for four months, a Model 3. He got into an unfortunate accident, a lot worse than mine, where a driver swiped him hard on the left side and the car was total. We were just pretty much trying to, um, you know, talk about our unfortunate events that happened to us. And he said that he didn't have his sentry mode installed. He didn't know about it or he just failed to set it up in time. And he got it for, he had it for four months and he hadn't set it up yet. He wasn't at fault, it was the person that hit him that was at fault because she was lying about what happened. She was going through a lawyer. So he, the whole process was very messy. He said it literally took a month to figure everything out and to go through the whole process correctly. So the moral of the story is that you should always have sentry mode on at all times because if you have an unfortunate accident like this, and you don't have the video evidence, your life can get a lot harder. Even with the police report filed, it's gonna be their word against yours. So, you know, it always helps 
to back up your case with video evidence. If you do have a Tesla and you're just, you just got the car, you're a new Tesla owner, the first thing you should do is set up sentry mode. There should be a USB drive in the glove box. Click on the car icon in the left hand corner and you should be able to set it up really quickly. All you gotta do is format the USB drive and then you're good to go. Definitely do that first thing when you get your car. Don't wait <laughs> because it'll save your life in the long run. Thanks for tuning into this video guys. Thanks for listening to my story and for hearing me vent. <laughs> I'll be posting more videos later on regarding this issue. Thanks for tuning into this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.